Thanks for clicking the link, everybody. And I just wanted to show you things that I do every day to find for sale by owner leads. Craigslist is by far and away the number one source for me to use and finding for sale by owners. You can select your city from your state here and then your city once you're inside your state. And I live in Atlanta. And so what I do is I come in and I merely click real estate for sale. And you see across, I don't want all of Atlanta. I want outside the perimeter north. And I want real estate by owner. And then I want a minimum price of $200,000. Now in your market area, your minimum price might be $100,000 or $75,000 or $500,000. Then what you do is you click the search button and it will actually give you for sale by owners that have come up today. Now what I do is in the morning or in the late afternoon, I'll pick the ones from July 6th because if I do July 7th, and I come, you know, I won't get all of them for today. Well, July 6th, I just merely take the for sale by owners, all of them for July 6th, and you'll see there aren't that many of them, even in a big city like Atlanta. I open up a Word document, and I set a new document, and I paste them in. And once I've pasted them in, I go through them, and you'll see the hyperlinks are still live, I don't work Lake Lanier. I would work Johns Creek. I'm not going to work Silva, Georgia. I do work Marietta Kell. Um, Canton I'll work. The Smokies is in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Panama City is in Florida. Peachtree Corners, again, I will work. Canton North Hopkins Farms. St. Simons Islands in Florida, so I'm going to delete that one. Coker Creek, Tennessee. Delete that one. Gwinnett is a little too far away. Marietta, uh, Acre Lot is available, East Cobb, Estate Home on Three Acres in Holly Springs, Realtors Bring Your Buyers, uh, that's it, Instant Equity is a little too far away, Lake Lanier is too far away, Flowery Branch is definitely too far away, Alpharetta I'll work with, and Martin, Georgia is too far away. So of the original 20 or so, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11 to work with. And you can find each of them if you just double click the hyperlink. It will show you the link. Now here's one with great pictures of a Christmas tree and a fireplace. Um, this for sale by owner needs help. And um, yeah, I mean, the, the photos don't do this house judge this for a $409,000 house, which is about double the price to all realtors. Uh, please don't send me emails like now that you are entering the world of selling your own and any other generic like we are stupid people. Send me customers or buyers. I'm not desperate to sell. It's a Brookstead Crossing. I've actually worked with this one before. Um, awesome deal. Best house. And what I would do is I would merely either call Bill or send him an email. And the email is just simply uh, FISBO1 which is how much of a commission are you offering. So I do that one on each one of them, and then I add it to my database and it's deleted. The one trick in Craigslist that I would want to show you is if you set up an account, okay, so I've set up an account, I've logged it in, it will, if you do what the search is, I have a search saved, it's turned on, minimum real estate by owner, and over the last four months, it's returned 297 hits. So if you divide that by four, it's about 75 hits, or it's three or four new ones per day. And the way you turn that on is once you've set up your account, you click email alert, and it will remember that search. So if your area is so broad in Craigslist, so um, you're in North San Diego, you could put specific cities in, like Vista or, or you know, a, um, a specific city, save that search and email alert when something comes up with that city in it. So you can narrow Craigslist that list, Craigslist list down a little bit more by doing an email alert. My second favorite source is Zillow.com. And Zillow.com is really pretty nice. If you search a zip code, any zip code, you, you will find listings for sale. And under listing type, if you 
click just by owner and make me move, it'll pull up just the for sale by owners or the make me moves on Zillow. Now on Zillow, here's one of for sale by owner on Tealing Drive. And on Tealing Drive, um, it gives you all this information and you can send up, the property owner actually gives you the phone number and you can email them straight from Zillow. Now one of the things I like is I like to Google the phone numbers because it doesn't take any time. And you can see these people are selling an Infiniti sedan. His name's Marshall. Um, and that's all you really have in it. Now I can, you know, now that I have the address and his first name, it's easy to find the tax information about the house. The Make Me Move Homes, um, for sale by owner, listing type, Make Me Move in Roswell, Georgia, click. The Make Me Moves are sort of a halfway for sale by owner. So here's one on Devereaux Chase. It's only been, well, where's the, where'd it go? I clicked it for some reason. But here's one on Water's Edge. And you get more information. You just email the owner. I'd like to find out more. Are you offering a commission if a real estate owner, real estate agent brings you a buyer? It's a townhouse. It's built in 2001. And again, in the Zillow estimate, the owner has not added any additional comments. And what's funny is they're priced below the Zillow estimate. So I would mention that to them when I actually talked to them. So when you contact the owner, I have just sent that email. So the first is Craigslist. The second is Zillow. The third one's going to be one of several different websites. And you need to do a little bit of research. In our area, we have for sale by owner.com is a good source. And um, when it gets to it, and you can search for homes for sale in 30075. You'll find, um, you know, these, these listings. There's 155 results in Roswell, Georgia. They're not all in Roswell. They give you the surrounding areas also. So here's one in Alpharetta. So near. Um, for sale by owner. Another one I like is Fisber.com. It's very popular in Atlanta and here in the south. But it's not so um, so interesting <coughs> in other parts of the country. So you're going to want to check for sale by owner.com, fisber.com, by owner.com. And again, you see here, so here's a listing on Foxbury at 290. You contact a seller. I can type my message here. It asks you to, I've already contacted this one. It asks you to do um, the non robot search. Sometimes they'll give you the um, the phone number also to work with. But there's, you know, Fisber.com, for sale by owner.com. If you live near a military base, there's military by owner.com. But you should really have to see more than two or three different websites in addition to Craigslist and Zillow. Craigslist is by far the big dog. Zillow is by far the large number two. All the others together won't equal either one of those. So if you're pressed for time, use those two. And you can see with Craigslist, it will actually email you the list each day, as we showed you how earlier. These leads into listing appointments, and then how to turn those appointments into three listings a month in under 30 minutes a day. I'm sharing my zero resistance FISBO system in a special online workshop where I show you step by step how I'm turning these leads into appointments and then into listings. To register for the workshop, just click the button, get signed up, but you better hurry because we're limiting this to 200 registrants, just 200 registrants, and this information is being sent to thousands and thousands of real estate agents across the country and in Canada. Registration is first come, first serve, so click the link and register before we fill up. This is Mike Stott with Your Coaching Matters. Hope to see you in the workshop.